have the awesome opportunity to introduce to some and present to others Mrs. Sarita Thompson, also known as the Trumpet Lady. I actually attended your CD release party from the song that are on there, the praise and worship songs, as well as um, the duets that you have with Dwayne Woods um, and Dorinda Clark Mm -hmm. Cole truly bring you in his presence. So um, knowing that you are unique, you know, as a female brass instrumentalist, there are not very many of you, you know, out there, very far and few between. Also, you've had the opportunity, like you said, to work within gospel as well as jazz, but Beyonce, Tito Puentes, you know, Mm -hmm. um, like I said, Dorinda Clark Cole, Dwayne Wood, to name a few. So who are some of the other artists um, that are out there, you know, um, broad-based artists that are out there in whatever genre that you may be interested in working with and collaborating with, um, and, and why? In the future, I would love to work with Mary Mary on the gospel, and I would love to work with Esperanza Spalding um, on the jazz. And believe it or not, I would love to do some work with Fantasia. I would love to work with Trey Songs. You know, uh, I, th- I think that there's definitely something that, you know, we can definitely do together, blend what I do and what they do. And because believe it or not, I do enjoy some of the R&B and hip-hop artists. I, I love right. the way they arrange some of the – I love some of the vocal arrangements. Um, on, on <clears throat> More so even across on – I would love to do some work with the Boston Pops, you know, um, and also, too, some the – some, some small chamber ensembles. Uh, I would love to do some work with Kim Burrell because I think she's such an awesome musician, you know, and when I speak of musician, um, a lot of people just see her as, well, I look at vocalists as different. To me, the vo- a vocalist is a musician as well because the first musical instrument is a, was the human voice. So uh, I love the way she blends her piano playing as well, as well with her vocals. So I would definitely love to work with, with some of those artists. How are your experiences as a member of the Love Fellowship Choir under the leadership of Bishop Hezekiah Walker and your role also as department chair of instrumental music, um, instrumental music for Cicely Tyson's School of Fine and Performing Arts, helping to define your music ministry now? Well, you, yeah, those, that, that's really good. Well, I, I, I would never discredit, first of all, my bishop, Bishop Walker, he gave me one of the first opportunities to travel and experience um, as an artist, you know, just to see some of the things that he's going through as an artist and his stage presence, how he, the anointing, how he works with the crowd and he studies his audience. That has been amazing. And sometimes you can't beat experience. The experience is, is the best teacher. So having a travel experience with him, that has been second to none because I, there's a lot of things that I learned on the road, um, just how to carry yourself as an artist um, there's a lot of do's and don'ts as an artist that, that you should be aware of, um, that a lot of artists should be aware of. Um, for example, always carrying yourself with character and with good integrity. Um, sometimes, you know, the promoters, they bring you and they don't always do what's right, but you still have to rise above and still know that it's still ministry even it's still ministry even besides that. Um, being the department chair over Cicely Tyson, I think it has been really good for me because I've gotten a chance to see a lot of students, a lot of my students that have gone on to Berkeley College of Music. So to see and to foster the growth of young minds, because I, I truly believe in education, to foster the growth of young minds and have them to, I can always share with them some of the trials and tribulations that I've had, but also to let them know and to impart in them that they need they need a musical education and they need some level of education. Um, so uh, I think the most important key factor with being a department chair is to infuse and impart knowledge into young musicians. And if they even if they don't become uh, a performer or work in the music industry, it's very important to foster good people with good character and integrity. Okay. Let's talk about yeah. In His Presence. What uh, songs on, on the album um, do you think speak to where you are now as an artist and differ from your first album? Because this is your second. So how, how yes. does it differ from your first um, for your fans, you know, but still keep its signatures to Rita Thompson style? I think this album was really more of, from a ministry perspective. The last album was more music driven. Definitely enjoyed this time. I thank you. Oh, absolutely. For your time and, and, me and, and, and next time I come to Nashville, we'll get a chance to meet. <laughs> oh, yes. And we will definitely get a chance to meet.